Warning, if you're emotional about anything I say or do. Your life is nothing. You serve zero purpose. You should kill yourself now and give somebody else a piece of that oxygen and, and ozone layer that's covered up so that we can breathe inside this blue trap bubble. Because what are you here for? To worship me? Kill yourself. I mean that with 100%, with 1,000%. Right foot creep, ooh, walking with that ear. Look around, stay low, make sure they don't see us. So for this versus battle, we basically have Arthur, the Night King, versus Arthur, the Chaos King. And what really makes this match made in heaven is that they both have their Excaliburs. But you want me to tell you what one has, but the other one doesn't? This song. Here we go! Excalibur, Excalibur. From United King, I'm looking for him. I'm going to California. Excalibur, Excalibur, Excalibur. You see, after listening to that absolute peak, I already know who's finna win this shit. But I'ma save it for later, so it can be more fun that way. But anyways. Arthur. Attack potency. So during his fight with Dragon, just them throwing barrage attacks was already destroying stars. And if you dare to say he's only planetary because of his attack being called Violent Flash Earth Divider, the motherfucker literally tanked a star. Speed. The fact that he was able to destroy five or six stars in a short period of time easily makes him massively faster in light plus. Hacks and abilities. Flame manipulation, obviously. Reality warping with his sword. Informational manipulation immortality and creation now for the other arthur see this is why i don't fuck with merlin because how do you turn a goddamn boy scout into a whole fucking edgelord like man's went from gospel music to straight up fucking heavy metal and people said that toxic relationships aren't bad nigga you must be heavily mistaken like there's always a pattern that all niggas must follow if she likes you more than you like her that's a valid relationship if she likes you the same way you like her like a romance and Julia, that'll be nothing more than a fantasy, aka bullshit. Now pay attention to this shit because this is the shit that most motherfuckers will fall into. If you like her more than she likes you, just prepare to know what hell truly feels like. The shit will give you some serious character development and will make you change your perspective on things. Cause these motherfuckers went through a whole metamorphosis off that shit and are completely unrecognizable. Like the shit can either make or break you. But now think about this shit ain't nobody really gave a fuck about arthur before but when nigga became chaos king we started fucking with him and even hyping his ass up and i am we like fam literally pulled up on tristian with the full demon mark then beats the shit out of him to the point where his daddy had to give him props then that's when lancelot pulls up and for the people that don't know bro the name by itself literally means you ran into the right one today if you don't believe me get into the face series because just as expected, Lancelot made Arthur his bitch. Like, bro dodged a sword attack from Arthur. And while that shit happens, he literally snatches his two fucking bottom teeth. Like, who knew that milk pussy can give such power-ups? Because apparently the violation got so bad that Arthur just had to dip. So where would he scale? Attack potency. Now, since he has the power of chaos, and chaos is literally stated to be above the supreme deity and the demon king, he should be like large planet. Speed. Now, I'm not even gonna lie to you, but the shit gave me a whole headache to come up with. But he's probably faster than like plus. Hacks and abilities. Immortality. Space time manipulation. Corruption manipulation. And there's like a whole lot more, but that shit really doesn't fucking matter. Because who wins? Arthur. I had to be used to tell me she loved me, that shot of your dust, she just wanted my money My jeans on a mirror, these little niggas don't put no fear in me, put hollow tips in this tongue And if I don't got pins in my hand and a tin in my pack, give a head up, he